What is the global roadmap for urban nature-based solutions? Cities are growing faster than ever. More people, more buildings, more pressure on the systems that keep life running. We've designed and developed cities largely by keeping or intentionally leaving nature out. That hasn't been that good for us. Water, air, food, shelter. As the climate changes, those pressures are colliding. Heat, flooding, pollution, inequality, all connected. Across the world, researchers and city leaders are asking a new question. So if we are going to have planetary scale sustainability, it has to start with transformation in the way we develop cities and the way that we can make them more livable for the majority of the human population. Can nature itself help make cities more resilient? I were really concerned about the inability of the solutions that we have made in the past to meet that challenge. And I think that nature-based solutions can actually help. Nature-based solutions in cities use the power of ecosystems to tackle interconnected challenges. Green roofs cool buildings. Wetlands absorb stormwater. Trees clean the air. Each one improves human life while strengthening nature at the same time. But until recently, these ideas were scattered. Local projects, isolated successes, few connections between science and policy. That's why the Global Roadmap for Urban Nature-Based Solutions was created. The first region-by-region -region assessment of what we know, what works and where the gaps are. It brings together hundreds of studies, policies and examples, turning a fragmented field into a shared global framework. 80 experts across seven world regions built the global roadmap, linking universities, city labs, and practitioners into one network. Every city, every neighborhood, every street, every plan has its own story. The roadmap doesn't just list case studies, it maps relationships between climate risks, governance, biodiversity, and social equity. One of the learnings that have come out of the Global Roadmap is that we cannot use a one-size-fits-all approach. We really need to harness the nuances and the context-specific, place-based understanding of a location and its needs and the community that's there. I think it would be more accessible to share different success stories around the world, different regions, different geographic context, different cultural context. It shows how cities can move from isolated experiments to integrated citywide systems. So it really provides a learning lab to really try and understand how we could develop nature-based solutions and what are the requirements needed today to inform the future as well. The Global Roadmap is more than a report, it's an invitation for every city to see nature not as a backdrop but as an ally a blueprint for a greener, fairer, more resilient urban future. With Natura and the Global Roadmap for Urban Nature-Based Solutions, we aim at reimagining new ways of building cities with nature. So that nature-based approaches to urban design and development become second nature. To find out more or for more news on science and technology, like, share and subscribe.